Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So what we're looking at is most global equity markets are, are managing to take that little bit higher this morning if only just uh, as we had a late dip in crude oil prices that they managed to recover quite strongly. So uh, a little bit of uh, unsuredness in a lot of the markets. But looking at the US 30, you can just see the, the indecision where we were a little bit higher, then lower. Uh, so far this morning, we're just about eking out tiny little gains and we are trading above both moving averages with the MACD histogram slowly moving down there on the US 30. Uh, you do have the slow stochastic and overbought territory, but not yet crossing that 80% level. So there could be just a little bit of extra gas left in the tank to uh, get close to 17.034. Um, but just looking at the tips, these candles here, there is a little bit of selling interest, but we'll see if that pans out later on in today's session. Looking at the UK 100, that late sell off from crude oil prices pushed the uh, the UK 100 down a little bit lower, though we were firmly off the session lows by the end of the session. Looking at today's candle, it's uh, a little bit green. It's going from green into red ever so slightly. Again, but above both moving averages, the other technicals are relatively neutral apart from the slow stochastic that is trading up just above the 80% level, not yet giving that signal to sell. And we are in the middle of two ranges. So uh, 6,300 is potential resistance and 6,073 is potential support. Moving then on to Japan, 225 is moving a little bit more into bullish territory right now. Three decent candles getting close to the 17,178. Uh, we are looking at that 55 period SMA as providing potential resistance as well. So that could be quite a good point there for uh, for some traders to look at as a, as a strategic level. Other technical indicators are relatively neutral, again, indicating there could be a little bit of extra room for maneuver here. Then moving on to dollar yen, and dollar yen had a volatile session, was quite positive yesterday, getting up close to 114, then to sell off later on as equity markets uh, were on the back foot and people started buying the yen as a, as, as a hedge. And then so far then to get today, you've seen the dollar gain a little bit of extra momentum. ADP private payrolls came out slightly better than I expected at 214 versus 190, uh, and that's had a little bit of extra strength to USD as well. Then moving on to Corral West Texas, this was where it's a little bit negative this morning, if only just, but a great a great end to the session yesterday. Very volatile, up then down. More oil ministers kind of uh, kind of lining up there to uh, to be a bit more bullish on uh, on the floor of West Texas, and we still have this double bottom here to uh, add a little bit of technical momentum. Thirty five dollars is the next potential resistance. We're a little bit away from there right now, but this is the highest that we've been uh, in all of February, the highest close we've had in all of February, uh, so a month long high. So the question is, can we get to thirty five dollars? Fingers crossed. Right, let's move on to gold now. Uh, and gold has been quite volatile. You can just see that we probably, if we draw our trend lines on here, uh, we have had a symmetrical triangle formation. Arguably, you could still say that we have that right now. Uh, and we have had the breakout. Depending on when you look to draw this, um, you could say that we are still within a symmetrical triangle formation right now. We want to break here to move higher. Uh, back up towards 1300 otherwise a break lower you could be hitting potential support at 1205 uh, and that's not that great a level to be honest but um, that is where you could possibly look at and then finishing up with the uh, with euro dollar and gbp usd so euro dollar at uh, one spot zero eight still seems to be a strategic uh, uh, support level to be aware of uh, these long legged candles that you had yes uh, on uh, on tuesday and again yesterday uh, does kind of highlight that uh, there is uh, buying interest at this point. We are trading above, uh, uh, below both moving averages. The MACD's crossed the zero line. The RSI and slow stochastic are just heading into oversold territory, but there's not yet a signal yet to buy. But just where we are, where we are right here, really depends if the ECB is going to act or not. There's more more talk from uh, local governors about a cut into negative interest rates. The question is, is that going to happen? Will the market be disappointed or not? Um, the euro's obviously been feeling the pain versus the US dollar last number of sessions. We're back to where we were at the start of the year. Uh, if they if they don't act, the euro will get shot in the arm. If they do act, obviously one spot zero eight is the uh, last line of defense before you get down to one spot zero five. And then finishing up there with GBP USD, and Sterling managed to get a decent move yesterday. Really strong candle, one of the strongest candles we've seen for a little while. Uh, while we're quite far away from one spot forty two. Uh, if I just get my drawing tool on here and pick this recent low, we are just on the cusp of one spot 4073. So this could be kind of interesting in the short term. Almost got a crossover in that MACD, and we've got a bullish signal on the slow stochastic, potential bullish signal on there as well. In regards to the uh, economic data so far today, we've got more PMI data from the Eurozone. You've got employment claims from the US, factory orders, and 
uh, uh, P PMI ISM numbers from the US. And then finishing up with Friday, you've got employment data, non-farm payrolls. Make sure you don't forget about that one. That's going to be very, very important going forward. And that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. Well, that's it for me, guys. Very good luck with your trading. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.